Hey guys, Omad Caroline. Happy Saturday. So I am at my kids' shop this weekend. Um, my son-in-law had a family emergency down south, so I am covering the shop. So yeah, I'm a little bit stressed. I really need to be focusing on studying because my personal training exam is just like less than two weeks away and I'm not prepared for it. But it's my own fault. I keep prioritizing other stuff. I don't know how to say no. And I procrastinated too long. So it's on me if I fail that exam. But like my daughter said, well, at least you'll know what to expect, right? If I got to take it again. But anyways, yeah. But I got my 10-mile run in this morning. It went really good. I, last time I did... My 10 mile long run was back in October and I did it in like an hour, 10 minutes, I think. And I was able to do it to th this morning um, in about an hour, two minutes. So that's cool. I, you know, better time. So that's awesome. Feel good about that. But yeah, just been in a really bad funk. I was talking to my sister and my sister was actually asking why I don't you know she usually knows every time I'm feeling in a funk and that and like this one's been lingering for like a week like I I'm lucky to get out and get my workouts and I just not in the mood if I could stay in bed I would so but um just been feeling not myself which is surprising because I'm so happy to be in good health again so yeah I got a snap out of it but my my sister was saying that um, she just wonders why I don't share that as much on the channel because I used to share a little bit more of my personal struggles and stuff. And you guys, we, when we talked about it, I was like, I think it's from back when um, it would have been in February, I think February 24th, when I lost my friend Rick to cancer. And I came on here and I just wanted to make a tribute video for him and just talk about how wonderful a man and how great of a loss it is. And I remember somebody commenting, and this person still is running around commenting. And, um, I, you know, I know that they're probably trying to grow their channel and stuff. But I remember the comment was just, I was so angry about it. And they just were like, Sorry about your friend, but I lost weight doing this, 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 and that. Like a paragraph or two. I freaking deleted that comment, and I blocked the person. Like, the person cannot comment on my stuff anymore. So, like, ever since then, I just, I just, I have a hard time <laughs> coming on. I think just because, you know, the lack of empathy maybe or something. I don't know. So, I figured, ah, oh, I'm just going to come on and share it with you guys because, you know, first off, I need to think about YouTube. You know, not everybody starts a YouTube channel like me. Like, I started just to have accountability to share the journey for other newly empty nesters that are trying to get their health back and just to um, show the day in, day out of weight loss because not a lot of people, you know, do their whole journey on here. So I was like, you know, but mainly it was for accountability. So it was never about growing my channel or making money. So I have to remember a lot of people, it is about growing their channel and, you know, trying to make a little bit of money doing this. So like, there's nothing wrong with that. And I need to, you know, understand that, you know, a lot of people who comment and stuff, it, you know, most of them don't watch my video. I'm sure hardly any of them watch my whole video. So, you know, I have to step back and take a look and say it's okay, you know, and it's the environment we're in, so it's all right. But, yeah, my sister, you know, was like saying, I think you should share a little bit more and stuff like that. And, you know, how sometimes it's hard for Omad Caroline to go and get her workout in and sometimes, you know, it sometimes I want a snack like this past week I just I would just want some comfort food I just am in a really bad funk normally like you know I probably you know I had a hysterectomy back when um I was 28 
and um, I had, there was some cancer, so I'm like, get rid of it. I don't need it because I was done having babies. I had both of my babies. My daughter was six and a half weeks early. My son was eight weeks early. I didn't carry babies well, so I always wanted four kids, but I didn't, but like, you know, so I had a hysterectomy. I still have an ovary, but sometimes I forget that I go through the emotions of my horm hormones fluctuating, you know? So like, I started kind of tracking that and like around the same time every month, I, I usually feel a little moody, but normally I snap out of it like in a couple of days and this one's just lingering. So I don't know, just trying to get back to the norm. I think a lot of it is some personal stuff. You know, I got, you know, my exam that I, I really dropped the ball on and I hate not reaching my goals. I am I freaking hate it. <laughs> and then um, I just have a hard time saying no, you know, just saying no to when people need me. I kind of have a tendency to put my priorities on the back burner. So I just got to get better at that. Anyway, so yeah, I just want to jump on. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Um, I hope I get some time to study while I'm here at the shop. And yeah, hopefully I can snap out of this crap, you know? I mean, this mood and that, it doesn't get me anywhere. It doesn't. So, like, I need to um, start being grateful about my life and start being thankful that I'm healthy and just get in a better state of mind and spirit. So, yeah, but um, send me some good vibes. Send me some prayers and, yeah. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. Bye.